people go fishing all their lives. But they don't realize it's not the fish they're after. It's the tails. I have a bit of a strange one for you today. So I was on a forum, a chat forum called Salmon Slayers. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but uh, there was one guy on the forum that kept saying he knew of the best spot. It was a secret salmon spot. And so, you know, I, I just sent him a direct message and I said, hey, are you willing to give that spot up? It took him about a minute, but he got back to me and said, if you block out my voice and who I am, I'll give you my location. I said, that's, that's great. You know, wh what can we do? How can we get this? And he said, meet me at an arcade. Meet me in the Jurassic Park booth, and I'll give you the spot. So I went and I found the guy. I just got here. I mean, there's tons of games around. I have to find Jurassic Park, so let's go walk around to see if we can find him. And then I'm supposed to jump into the booth with him and he's gonna explain to me where this spot is. All right, let's see if we can find Jurassic Park. There, there it is. There's Jurassic Park. There's somebody in there too. It's gotta be him. Oh, hello. Not yet. I need to finish the skin. Sorry. Hi, is this a good time? Yes, come in. I'm I'm Neil. What should I call you? You can call me Mr. X. Hi, Mr. X. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate this. Before I reveal any secrets, please know that this spot has remained a family secret for generations. I would like you to please respect my anonymity by changing my voice. Follow the path to the last lamppost. There, you will find a boulder that has blue graffiti on it. That is the spot. Be sure it is a full moon. I promise I will keep this secret and I will never forget this and, and I will never forget you. Thank you, Mr. X. Good luck and tight lines, my friend. And thank you. Enjoy. That's the last lamppost. I can see the uh, the boulders right there. That's where I'm headed. All right, I just got here. It's about 4.30 in the morning. Full moon, it's a moon set, you know, which is pretty much concurrent with a sunrise. And I'm just walking the retention wall, um, following the the lights, the lampposts, like he said, and I'm headed towards the end of it, uh, which should be a couple big boulders and the one boulder marked by some blue graffiti. So I'll see if I can find it uh, and check back in.
there's the last lamppost. And I can hardly see the boulders starting. So let's go take a look at that. We're gonna try and find the one boulder that's got the blue graffiti on it. He said that's the best boulder to use. There you will find a boulder that has blue graffiti on it. And it's nice and flat to fish. So here's the uh, end of the pavement. Right there. Clear as day. There's blue graffiti on it. There's blue graffiti on it. Nice flat rock. There's blue graffiti on it. And you can just tell it's a good area to cast. You've got the retention wall right here. You've got open bay here. You've got rocks going to the right. So I'm gonna gear up and I'm gonna jump down right down here on the flat boulder with the blue graffiti. Look at that. It's exactly what he was talking about. There's a fish. That's a meal deal. Yes, sir. That's a meal deal. Stay on for me. Okay. He's going to the wall. <clears throat> oh, good fish. Good meal deal. Where's my drag? Okay, here we go. That's a fish. Yeah. Good salmon. Come here, bud. Good fish. I don't know how much fight he's got left in him. I've got my net right here. Let's see how he does. Oh, I'm not there yet. Come on, Neil. You got this. Woo, fat one. And we're good. Ah, what a beautiful fish. Neil with the deal. Okay. Neil with a beautiful king salmon. Oh, probably 30 pounds, maybe 35, 36 inches. He struck right on the uh, retaining wall and uh, he didn't fight too much. A couple good jumps and good, good hard runs, but uh, he wasn't too bad. I got him in. It was just tough to net because of where I was. My net wasn't long enough, but uh, amazing, thick, fat. Chinook salmon and I'm gonna eat real good because of this I'm gonna have huge salmon fillets it's a full moon just like he said early in the morning it's about 5 a.m. in the morning nobody else is out here 
I'm on the secret spot. I'm on the boulder. Last lamp light. And sure enough, it struck. <laughs> Neil with the salmon deal. You know, I ended up keeping about half of that fish. The other half uh, I gave to some, uh, some kids that were in need. You know, some poor kids, you know, those little kids that uh, they have the huge belly. You know, they've got like the diapers on, like the, the dirty diapers, and they've got that really big belly. I saw a couple of them in the back alley, uh, and I figured, you know, they could use it, you know, more than me. So I kept half of it. I vacuum sealed a bunch of fillets. I'm going to show you today how to do my famous blackened Cajun salmon. Let's take a look. So here I got some fillets. I got some drinks in here. I'm just going to grab one. Let's grab this one. This looks good. Take it on over here. I'm going to show you my ingredients. It's pretty simple. I got one potato. I'm going to end up using half of it. Uh, I got some mixed vegetables, uh, some sour cream, butter, and some spices. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the cast iron uh, real hot with some butter. I'm going to put the potatoes in there, the vegetables, and then I'm going to flip the salmon over and get it nice and blackened on this. And then it's all going to go in the oven. And we'll end up uh, mixing some sour cream with everything and eating it all together. All right, the butter sizzling. I got some shoestring type potatoes. They're all just going to go in here first. With a little bit of salt and pepper. Old Bay for the seasoning. Make sure it's a good amount, and that will give it great flavor. Finally, the vegetables can go in as well. And I'll just stir that up, and in about four minutes, I'll put it in the oven to bake. Okay, eight minutes in the oven. We'll check back on in a bit. Get out of here, Neil. Neil loves his Mountain Dew, you can, you can tell. There, yeah, now he won't be able to get it. Okay, we are done. Looking good. Look at that, nice and blackened. This will be really good. And we'll just take all these, throw it on the plate, and we will mix some sour cream on top. Let's dig in. Sure looks good to me. So delicious. And as usual, I always like to save some for Neil. Come here, Neil. 